What's up guys? So just got here to the gym Sunday afternoon, basically got the entire place to myself. What we're gonna be hitting today is hypertrophy, high volume work for biceps. So I'm gonna be taking you guys through this workout, gonna be showing you kind of raw clips and talking over it um, as I'm going through this workout. And uh, the first exercise we're gonna be doing is just a warm up exercise. And we are going to be doing cable curls with the little, what is it, the curved easy bar type of thing. But um, here we're not aiming for any type of reps. And if you are trying to aim for reps, no less than 20 reps because we are trying to get as much blood into the muscle, trying to warm it up. And so again, this isn't necessarily to try to do as much weight as you can. I think I have like 25, maybe 30 pounds on the pin or whatever and just going for really high volume to kind of get as much blood into the bicep as possible um, before we start getting into our working sets. So first working exercise of biceps are alternating dumbbell curls. Now in my opinion, alternating dumbbell curls are probably the best exercise other than just your normal strict straight bar barbell curls that you can do to really build your arms because you're working full range of motion you can go decently heavy and you can really focus on each arm separately and kind of um, build a fuller more proportional physique because um, each arm is getting the same amount of work well you can actually work one arm a little bit more if you want to because you're separating them but getting into this exercise um, what I really want you guys to focus on on each and every rep when you come up Make sure you get that pinky turned higher than your thumb. Get that full squeeze, that full range of motion, that full contraction on each and every rep. And when you lower the weight back down, almost if you have to flex your tricep at the bottom, that way you ensure you're going all the way back down, getting that full stretch and that full range of motion. That way you can get the most out of each and every rep for this exercise. All right guys, so next exercise that we're gonna be getting into is more of a superset. What we're gonna be starting with is that easy bar right there for 10 reps of reverse curls. So what you're going to be doing is getting that reverse grip on the easy bar and you're going to be curling it up for 10 reps. As soon as you do 10 reps of reverse curls, you're going to put that weight down and you're going to pick up um, dumbbells that you can control for another eight to 10 reps. And what you're doing here are cross body hammer curls. So not just your regular straight up and down hammer curls, you're going across your body. So bringing that weight across to your opposite kind of nipple line or whatever, and really focusing on the squeeze. You're gonna notice um, a lot more growth in your brachialis. It's gonna be working a lot of forearms as well. So this is a great superset, probably my favorite, favorite superset for biceps. So um, definitely, definitely, definitely focus on uh, the squeeze and the eccentric lowering part of the movement on this exercise and I guarantee you will see wider biceps if you throw this one in every single bicep day. So the next exercise is gonna be more of an isolation exercise and what we're doing is we're sitting here on like an incline bench and if you can see this um, here in the mirror, I have it at just a very, very slight incline. So um, not a huge incline, but just enough so that when you lower the weight, you're going past um, where kind of like the perpendicular point of where you would usually stretch your bicep to so you can get more of a stretch at the bottom and you're going to get a little bit more range of motion than usual with this exercise and it's a great way to really kind of overload your bicep without having to do heavy weight. I only have like 20 pound dumbbells here and you're getting a great stretch and you're able to kind of overload and really stretch out the bicep a lot more than on normal exercise and it's a great, great, great concentration exercise for the bicep. So um, what I do here, because it's a little bit lighter, I'll really slow that weight down and go and aim for about 12 to 15 reps on this exercise. And again, all of these exercises today, three to four sets is all you really need to do. So last exercise that we're gonna be doing today is a single arm preacher curl, but we're gonna be switching it up. So not your normal um, dumbbell preacher curl we are going to be using a straight bar, but a light straight bar that you're going to have to kind of balance out with your hand in the middle of the bar. And by having to balance that bar, you're going to be engaging more of your bicep because you have to engage all your stabilizing muscles throughout your entire bicep um, with the lowering and the raising of that weight. So um, get something relatively light 
I was only using 20 pounds there. Again, aiming for anywhere between 12 to 15 reps, really focusing on the eccentric, the lowering of the weight, because again, it's a pretty light weight, so you're gonna be able to get that weight up pretty easy, but if you slow that rep down on your way back down, you're definitely gonna feel it. And again, three or four sets there, focus each arm, squeeze every rep, and then you're done. All right guys, so done at the gym, and I wanna end this video by talking to you a little bit about something that I have noticed really gets to a lot of people and bogs them down and kind of starts their week out on the wrong foot, and that is the Monday mentality. Now, I'm uploading this video first thing Monday morning, so a lot of you guys are actually going to be watching this to start your week out on, and what I wanna tell you guys is Mondays are everything. Mondays are your first step. Mondays are how you kind of set the tone for the week. Now, if you spend half of your Sunday a lot, which a lot of people do. A lot of people spend most of their Sunday being miser miserable and not enjoying their self because they're already dreading going back to work or dreading going back to school and going to class and whatnot. And that is the wrong way to look at Mondays because so much of everything in your life is perspective based. And if you use that negative glass half empty type of viewpoint on Mondays and you're dreading it, of course, you're going to hate Mondays, but if you look at Mondays differently, you look at Mondays with the viewpoint on, this is how I'm going to start my week. This is how I'm going to set the tone for the next five to seven days. You're going to look at it a little bit differently. Plus, if you look at Mondays and you look at whatever you're doing, you look at that job, you look at that class, you look at school, whatever, as a means to get to your goals. So a lot of people go to work because they have to make money to pay a mortgage, to provide for their family, to make money so that they can take that leap of faith and start that business venture or whatever. People go to school so they can get that degree and get to whatever job they want to do for the rest of their life. And if you look at Mondays and you look at whatever you're doing on that Monday as a stepping stone towards whatever uh, your, like your long-term goal is, I think you're going to see it a little bit differently. You have to change that perspective. And in my opinion, if you do hate Mondays that bad, it's one, your perspective is probably messed up, just like I talked about, or two, you're probably in the wrong field. You might be doing a job that you're not meant to do. You might not be following your passion. You might be in a field of study. You might be in a major that you are not passionate about, that you're just doing because your parents or society or your friends or your grandparents want you to do. And if you're in an area that you know you're not meant for, that's gotta change, that has to change. So maybe take steps towards finding something that you're passionate about, take steps towards um, finding another job that you can enjoy a little bit more, or maybe take that huge leap of faith, move and go do what you've always dreamed of. You know, you're gonna have to have money, you're gonna have to have that foundation built first, but you know what, take those steps. Take those steps to do what you love. And you know what, that Monday mentality is going to change. So I want you guys, I want you guys to be a part of that movement that changes the Monday mentality. Do not dread Mondays, love your Mondays. And if you love your Mondays and you look forward to Mondays, you're gonna enjoy your Sundays a lot more. So it's kind of a trickle down effect because so many people hate their Mondays so much that they can't even enjoy their Sundays, their day off, when they are supposed to be having fun with friends and enjoying time with family and literally doing the things they love on their day off. And so many people let Mondays ruin their weekends. The thing they look forward to the most is ruined because they dread their Mondays so bad. So stop dreading your Mondays, enjoy your weekends, enjoy every hour that you have doing whatever you love, and look at Mondays as a stepping stone towards your end goal. Now I'm gonna end the video now and go enjoy the rest of my Sunday. So make sure to like the video if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. www.trekfisher.com for online personal training. I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace. Where you can see it. Alright, if I miss, nobody's gonna see this. I'm not putting it on YouTube. Right.
All right. I've seen that one. <sighs> oh, that won't ever happen again. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, uh, I love this hat spot. This is, this is great. How bad does it take you to try? Well, come on. I can't believe he does that left handed. <laughs> I think it kicked a little bit. <laughs> That's going to hurt tomorrow. <laughs>